what's up guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine and in this video i'm going to show you this effect that you can create in pixel lab app yes you heard me correct uh, this is the effect that all of the photoshop videos editors were editing it and i thought that i can create this one in the pixel lab 2 and that's what i did it and i i just i'm so happy that i can share this with you guys and you guys can also try this effect onto your pixel lab app on your mobile phone so yeah uh, i hope you will like this video and if you do then make sure you hit that like button share this video to your designer friends and uh, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this support me by commenting in the comment box below and uh, as always without wasting any more time let's get started okay so to create this effect we are on the pixel lab app as you can see on the default screen as always and I'm going to go directly into the background color section and from here I'm just kind of going to select a solid black color. I've got the text right here like as you can see on the screen and I'm going to double tap on it and edit this text with uh, any text you want you can add that one but I'm just going to add flip book right here. Keeping it this in the caps I'm just going to get this effect and I'm going to go right here in the fonts and from here I'm going to select uh, the font. Uh, you can do basically select any font you want but it should be like kind of on a boxy and a right angular triangular font so i'm just gonna go with the basic uh, this font right here and it looks good with this as well now i'm gonna go select for this effect right here this is the transform effect and uh, enable it and just try out this thing right here that i'm doing right now so the topmost two points will be kind of an in the outer side and the bottom one most two angles like the corners will be in the in insider so yeah this is the effect this is the effect that we are toggling right now and just keep them like uh, they are perfectly you know not just they are not just weird so yeah uh, just keep them like this as you can as you can see on the screen once we are done with that select that text here and uh, i'm going to go into the colors right here select the gradient and i'm going to select this gradient right here so the bottom part will be a little lighter like grayish lighter so that is what i'm doing right now and uh, you can you know you can apply and see how that looks like but make sure you are doing it in the first edit as it will because you can't do it in the future edit like after you have your edited text yeah but yeah just keeping that bottom area a little bit of lighter you can always uh, you know copy the settings like the right i'm doing right now but yeah this is how it looks like now once we are happy with how the hell it looks like we are going to keep it and move it we move it in this manner like uh, tapping on this one right, right icon and moving it in this way so after you keep it right over here you are going to hit on copy and create a, another copied layer of the similar text and keep it right in front of this one now once you are happy now i want you to go and look for this effect right here which is 3d rotation like this and I'm just going to want you to play around with the setting like this. So just know how the hell it is uh, moving with the struggling X axis and you will know that you want to what you want to create with this one. So what I'm doing is right now is from zero. I'm just going to pull it in the minus direction. Just like this a little bit, not too much. Uh, and it is in on the minus 16 right now. So now I've got this text with this defect applied on it. Now I'm going to go and copy it once again and keep it uh, right here maybe adjust a little bit of space right here and now i'm going to keep it right over here so this is how it looks like maybe keep the similar space and i'm again going to go and select or search for the same effect which is this one and from minus 16 i'm going to go to minus 30 maybe so yeah we are going to do it one more time just copying it once again so yeah this is the copy of the effect and we are just going to keep it right in front of it like this and i'm gonna go again similar thing same effect and i'm just going to go and move it a little bit more like this like minus 42 so yeah this is what we're going to create uh, and do on the similar like in a similar way onto all of this copied layers and this is the final layer that we are copied right now and keeping it right over here ni nicely neatly spaced keep your time get your time take your time here and move it and keep it in the precise way now again similarly i've moved it to minus 53 something and this is how it looks like now you have the chance to you know keep them like aligned perfectly and that is what i'm doing right now like 
uh, I wanted to create this effect in a better way possible. So I should be like knowing how they are placed because right after this po uh, this editing trick, you won't be able to do that. So yeah, I'm just doing it right over here in a ahead of time. Once you're happy, like how do you skip them in the space? I'm just going to go open the layers and select all of them from here like this and merge them together into a one single effect. So this is what we are done with. This is what we are left with this whole single effect. Now I want you to do is uh, go into diamond shape, copy this effect once again like this and move it all the way to 180 degree like this. So yeah, this is what the effect looks like now and keep it right in front of it. Keep them like like this, like this and yeah, there you go. This is the effect that we have created with this just similar five steps like this five text effects. Now you can play around with the changes that you want to create. Uh, this effect works with black background, but I think you can do similar things with another solid background, like another color with a solid background. And if it is dark, then it is going to be way too much better. And this is how it looks. I hope you have learned something new in this video. And if you do, then make sure you like this video to appreciate my work. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe this channel. Leave a comment that what you want to see in the, in the future videos. And uh, I will definitely try to answer you, your problems, your questions, anything in the comments. And uh, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And uh, as always, I will catch you guys in my next one.